Hi, and welcome to the final video of the Clarity Roadmap series. I'm Katherine Ellis, a Product Manager with Clarity. We have now seen how you can use the board and the grid layouts for roadmaps for planning the release of the digital banking application. Let's now review how Sid, the Portfolio Manager, can present the digital banking roadmap to the executive team by using the timeline layout. The layout will help our executive team visualize how the digital banking initiative will be rolled out over the next couple of years. Open the digital banking product lineup roadmap. Because Sid is presenting the roadmap to executives, let's use the timeline layout to give them a bird's eye view of the investments associated with the digital banking initiative. Let's start by customizing the timeline layout so that we can present a simple yet powerful view to the executives. We can set the period to months so that the stakeholders can see exactly when an initiative finishes and the next begins. Let us also set the appropriate start and end periods. SID wants to ensure the costs associated with each initiative are displayed on the timeline. We have already created two pick lists where we use the board layout to plan the initiatives. Swim lanes allow us to organize information so that the executive team can quickly review all initiatives associated with each theme. Let's use the theme pick list to create swim lanes. They can also see the total cost being spent across each theme. We can now see consolidated metrics within the swim lane. Let's color the investment items based on the value of the in-plan attribute. It will help executives visually identify investments considered for funding. If the executive team wants to fund initiatives that are not currently in plan, they will need to reprioritize investments. Let's use the Show Widgets option to add existing widgets to the screen. Stakeholders can now see various details such as benefit, operating cost, and capital cost. SID also wants a widget to display the total cost for all investments that are currently in plan. Using the Manage Widgets option allows us to create a new target widget. Let's name it Total Cost and configure it to sum up the values of the total cost attribute. Because we only plan to calculate the total cost for roadmap items that are in plan, let's add the in plan label. Let's use the filter to configure the widget to only show the total cost for roadmap items where the in plan attribute is selected. Let's now set the target in the total cost widget. SID also highlights dependencies between various initiatives that will help him explain how they can deliver consolidated values to the organization. Let's add a dependency between the Trending Assist and the Real-Time Data Analytics and Reporting items. SID can also showcase the business agreements between various initiatives. The executive team asks SID to ensure that the other team also have the relevant agreements in place. Finally, SID wants to show the leadership team how far they have come from the initial roadmap to the finalized version that he is presenting today. He can use the Compare Scenarios button to compare the current roadmap with the initial roadmap. This will showcase how his team has focused initiatives to deliver significant value with a limited budget. Finally, when the team approves the roadmap, he can use the Export to PDF capability to export the roadmap and share it with the larger team. Thank you for watching this video.